in the end we can trust you and we celebrate that you will be doing in our lives we celebrate all the goodness we celebrate the new things and the new person in Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen. Yes, we are! We believe that God blessed us so that we can be a channel of blessings to others. We made this channel so we can bless other people. So there's baking, there's cooking, there's working there's out. There are dogs, our adventures, our travels. Hi, I'm Mickey. I'm Bettina. And I'm Yummy. And this is a, a blessing, blessing channel. channel. are 12 weeks pregnant this week. So, nakakatawa kung paano namin nalaman that we are pregnant. Sobrang random, sobrang unexpected. It was on April 19. It was a Tuesday, I remember. We were leaving for a friend's anniversary Taco Tuesday celebration. So, magbomotor lang kami going there because it's tacos. So, sabi ko, oh, sarap to eterno with beer. But then, naisip ko, I'm supposed to get my period that day. So, wala lang. Randomly, naisip ko to check. So, this was mga 4.30 in the afternoon. I got the pregnancy test kit. And then I checked. You know, parang wala lang. Just to make sure it's safe if I do consume alcohol. Bigla nang positive. There were two lines, pero yung second line, Fail. Siyempre naalala ko when I was pregnant with Gummy. The first person I told na I took a test was my best friend Bajo. And then, ganito rin yung kay Gummy, malabo din yung isang line. And then she told me, dahil kahit malabo yung pangalawang B niya, B niya pa rin yan. So positive yan. So ako, huh? So ba to? Totoo bang we're pregnant? Yeah, we're not supposed to get pregnant until 6 months after my pelvic laparotomy. So sabi ko, ah, baka wala lang or baka late na eh. Hapon na ako nag-test eh. Baka cheap yung pregnancy test kit ko. So when I checked, tas nag-positive. Sabi ko, totoo ba to? Totoo ba na I'm pregnant? Kasi we weren't really actively trying, you know. Parang after losing mommy, we decided na, you know, to, to take a pause at trying to be pregnant for a while. So, hindi talaga namin in-expect. Dahil tinest ko siya ng hapon, sabi ko, ah, baka kaya ito malabo kasi hapon. So, tomorrow ulit. So, the next day, dahil hindi ako makonvince, the next day, what I did, first thing when I woke up, nag-test ako kagad. It's the same test kit, pero malabo pa rin. So, ito na siya, April 20. Nag-test ako, sabi ko, baka cheap yung pregnancy test kit ko. Or baka masyado pang maaga. Baka masyado ma-excite, baka masyado ma-excite. Siguro, yung heart ko, Parang holding off also on excitement kasi syempre coming from a uh, loss and miscarriage, baka mawala na naman. So, hindi rin ako masyadong give na give na ito na yun, ito na yun, ito na yun. Hindi pa rin ako tumitigil. Sabi ko, baka at least five days para talaga sure na. So, I took again. I took a third one on the fifth day. It's this na. It's two lines but the second was still faint. So, on the sixth day, which was a Sunday, that was my fourth and last attempt to test kung positive ba talaga. And using a PT of a different brand, it showed two lines. And so, we were thinking how to break the news to Yach and Gabi. So, nag-lunch out kami after church. And then, you see na, you know, we were praying. Daddy was praying. Tapos, their eyes were closed. And then, secretly, nilagay ko yung PT sa table. Para pag-open ang eyes nila. The table was empty. Wala pa yung food namin. Pag open ang eyes nila, they'll see it and be surprised of the news. Oh my gosh! What's that? Yeah. No. Sobrang unexpected yung pregnancy namin because first of all, according to our doctor, we can only start trying to be pregnant again six months after the operation. 
My pelvic laparotomy was in January 28. So, dapat July. Dapat by next month pa kami actively pwede mag-try to be pregnant. But, you know, talagang si God is a higher authority and a more sovereign over the doctors. Pero si God talaga yung ultimately may hawak ng time. He's all-powerful to dictate life when to allow it to happen. So kahit pa sabihin na, six months, if on the third month, God would want to give it, by all means, He would and He can. And we weren't really so keen on trying to be pregnant kasi nga, I felt like kaka-move on ko pa lang from WAMI. I'm starting to really feel better, feel like myself again, have a routine again. Tapos sobrang gulat na, wow, we're pregnant. And when we think about it, on the same year that we had WAMI and we lost him, God gave this new baby to us. And I am due to give birth in December. So all on the same year, end to end, January, God gave. January, God took away. Soon after in April, God gave again. And in December, we're going to give birth. So, ang sweet, sweet lang talaga ni God. You know, when I think about my pregnancy, I can't help but really say, God knows His time talaga for everything. Talagang His timing is always perfect. When we count backwards, and try to determine around when kaya we conceive this baby. You know, it'll fall on the week when we celebrated our first year anniversary of moving here. So one year na kami nakatira dito sa La Union. And hindi lang yun yung sinicelebrate namin. That's why I can say na talagang God knows His timing because it was really only during that time when my personal emotional issues of living here were fully resolved. You know, um, the first year of our marriage, marami kaming challenges. When we think about probably why the Lord did not allow us to be pregnant in January. I guess it's because he knew we weren't fully ready yet, emotionally ready yet. I wasn't fully emotionally secure yet. And it was only when, okay na, na-resolve na, naayos na, tapos na, close book na ako, ano man yung mga issues ko. And that's when the Lord gave. So alam niya talaga yung timing niya to everything. Nakakatuwa kasi parang anniversary gift niya sa amin, yung baby. Oh, one year, one year living here, done with all your issues and your drama. Okay, you're ready. Here's a baby. So, pag iniisip ko yung timing ni God, I can't help but think na sweet, sweet talaga ni God. As a father, ang sweet niya on when and how to give his gifts to his children. It was April 19 when we found out that we were pregnant. It was exactly three months after we found out we were pregnant with Bami, Jan 19 and then April 19. Yeah, I don't know what's it with, you know, exactly three months. I just felt like, you know, sweet naman ni God. Na, ang bilis-bilis na hindi talaga namin inaasa that He will bless us this early with a new, with His life. And also, ito siguro yung pinaka-nakaka-amaze at pinaka-nakakaiyak. When we first visited our OB, for an ultrasound. We were just five weeks pregnant then. So by counting, five weeks pa lang. She said, Dr. Ang said, normally she wouldn't call for an ultrasound that early kasi wala naman siya makikita. It's too early. That's the earliest would be six or eight weeks. But because I, I had an ectopic pregnancy previously, she just wanted to check na hindi ectopic. And you know what? On April 19, where's our baby? Our baby is right in the middle of my uterus where the baby should really be. And this is our first ultrasound with this baby. And the only ultrasound we have of Wami was this, first and last. Just comparing this is ultrasound or baby, but not where the baby should be. And then here is an ultrasound of our baby right in the middle of my uterus. So, una sigaw no OB namin. Yes, not ectopic! Because that's all she really wanted to check, that the baby is where the baby should be. And this was in April 29, which interestingly, was also exactly three months after I had my operation. So I had my operation, my pelvic laparotomy, in January 28. January 29, the next day, Gummy sent me a letter. It was this letter saying, Hi, Mommy, I miss you. I've been praying for you. God is in control. I had a hard time accepting that I was still an only child. But God is still good no matter what. I love you, Mommy, and you too, Mommy. She said, And sweet lovely God to replace the pain of my daughter in this letter with this unexpected surprise three months later and this was us on our first visit to see our baby in the clinic this 
with us today. <laughs>